Hi guys, are you looking to connect two devices in distant location wirelessly? Because sometimes pulling a cable might be a difficult thing to do. If you find out you cannot pull a cable during an installation of two devices, setting up the wireless LAN between the device will be your best choice. It is a cost-effective solution for data transmission. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set a wireless LAN between two different devices in a distant location using the wireless bridge. Now, if you find this video helpful, please give us a thumb and share it with a friend who might benefit from it. Wireless LAN is a type of local area network that uses the wireless communication to connect devices within a limited area, such as your home or your office. The wireless uses the radio waves to transmit the data between devices. And wireless network bridge allows you to connect two separate networks together. It does this by receiving the wireless signal from one network and transmitting it to another network. It is essential to bridge two networks together. So now let's go to the demonstration board and I'll show you what we need for today's setup and explain it along the way. So here we are in front of the board and let's see what we need today. First, we need a pair of wireless bridge. We have it on each side and also I have a router on each end. So today we are going to connect two routers with the wireless bridge. And actually there are many advantages of using the wireless bridge. It has a plug and play connection. That means they can match the wavelength of each bridge by pressing a single button. So there's no complicated configuration you have to do on your phone or a computer. Also, it can provide stable connection. The data rate is up to 900 megabyte per second and within 300 kilometers, but better with no obstacle between. And also the wireless bridge is IP67 protection. That means it is waterproof. You can use it outdoor and even in a harsh environment to provide stable wireless signal. And you can see the setup here. It should be in a line of sight and as few obstacles as you can so there's nothing will block the signal away. And also, it requires power source on each uh, wireless bridge so make sure you have reliable power source on each end. It can be a power cable or a PoE adapter. Now without saying, let's do the connection together. So let's do the connection from the beginning with the router. And first I'm going to power up our router with the power source and I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect our router with the wireless bridge. Just simply plug it into the port and let's come over to the, this side. Here is our wireless bridge and you can see it has two ports. I'm just going to plug in one of the port. That means it can supply up to two devices. And over here we have the power source, the reset button, and the other one. Let me power it up first. I'm just simply plugging in the power port. And this is the M and S stands for the master and slave. Since this is our master bridge, I already put in this side. And over here, this is the reset button which means we can use this button to match the channel with the other bridge. Remember that I said we only have to press the single button here without complicated configuration. Now, let's move over to this side and you can see our indicated lights are on. Those are the signal bar. The more signal you get, the stronger signal you have. And this is their channel number. Let's see, I have number 8 now. Remember the button in the front, I'm going to simply press it and change it to number 9. And remember this number because we are going to match the number together. Let's come over to this bridge. I'm just going to power it up first. Alright. And you can see there's M and S stand for master and slave again. This is the slave bridge. So it's already on this side. 
and for the reset button and the LAN port, also two LAN port. I'm just going to connect one port first for our router. And let's come over to the back so we can change the channel. Remember the number that we have? Okay, and now I already changed the channel. So I'm going to power up our router here. And using the short patch cord that already connect to our wireless bridge and connect with the router. See, now the whole setup is done and it's pretty simple, right? When you set up a wireless bridge, make sure you set it in a straight line with no obstacles between. The fewer obstacles you have, the stronger signal you get. And also, you need to adjust your signal, address your wireless bridge by looking at the signal. See here, I have full bars now because they're pretty close and straight to each other. And also, you should check your edge devices to see if they work before you do the connection. So if you want to see more about how to install multiple IP devices using the wireless bridge, you can watch the video right here. And thank you so much for watching us today. I'll see you next time.